Jesus speaks about trafficked children, prayer, Trump, Obama and UN troops. December 16th and 22nd, 2017. Words from Jesus to Sister Claire, spoken by Jackie. Jesus began, I want you to spiritually adopt trafficked children. You are well aware of the horrible kidnapping, selling and trafficking of poor, innocent children throughout the world in many places. Not only are they taken from their parents and siblings, which in itself is terrorizing enough, but after being sold, they are beaten severely to make them submit from the very first moment to the unspeakable sexual abuse and painful violation of their tender little bodies. Some of you, yourselves, were subjected to terrible abuse and neglect when you were young, as well, and you know how devastating it was to you, even up into your adult years. I appeal to you now, please, work with me to rescue, comfort and heal these precious children and young adults who are daily victims of unbelievable terror and extreme pain, crying, begging and pleading day and night for someone to please help them. They are constantly in a state of tremendous fear as some are kept in chicken wire cages, others in basements, cold, malnourished and dehydrated. The only time they see the light of day is when they are dragged out, roughly washed, put in nice dresses with no undercovering and driven to clandestine motel rooms, where one or more drunken customers are just waiting to use and abuse them repeatedly. Sometimes as many as six different men or even more keep them for hours on end, burning, beating and raping them. Some of them do not survive these long periods of torture and abuse. To keep down the screaming, these men will stuff socks and handkerchiefs into their mouth. Because many of the children are already very weak and sick, they have difficulty breathing and they can end up dying by suffocation. If by chance they do survive, many soon succumb within days to complications from punctured spleens and internal bleeding. Although all of this has been very hard for you to hear and very hard for me to describe to you, by the profound compassion and tenderness of my father, we have seen their tears and heard their desperate pleas. Therefore, we have made a provision to distract them away from being tortured, allowing souls who are praying for them to experience the tenderness of being loved and held securely. Contrary to what is happening to them, they find some comfort in this. Those with hearts to comfort these children have experienced this and now I'm asking you to work with me and spiritually adopt as many of these as you possibly can. If you will give me your permission and your own free will to take these and intentionally hold them, cover them and carry them close within your heart, I will expand both your heart and soul to accommodate all that I bring to you. Along with all the love and attention of an alert and devoted mother. Am I not your faithful God? Do I say and not carry out? I will be with them as the dew-laden breeze in the fiery furnace, and many shall live, going out to proclaim my wonderful love and deliverance to the ends of the earth. 
I have decreed all of this, says the Lord, that the souls of many shall be saved. Message from December 22, 2017 Jesus began, I wish for you to know, my people, there is no power on earth greater than your prayers and fasting. The only reason I keep you from news is that it is so dark, Claire. The minimum for you is still too much, my beloved. It leaves stains on your mind, which I must erase before you can fully absorb me. Nonetheless, I understand two things about you in this regard. One is the very natural human tendency to curiosity, to wanting to get the latest, and pride can also be behind that, and wanting to know what to pray for and how your prayers are working. For this reason, I am allowing you to look. But please, my darling Claire, do not spend a lot of time trying to understand it all. The essentials are what I have given you, and a few confirmations are very helpful. But going any deeper is harmful. You understand this, do you not? I don't want to be a prideful curiosity seeker. But that's what I'm without your grace, Lord. O oh God, save me from the darkness, but bring to me the things I need to know for prayer. Please, Lord. As it is your wish, a good and healthy wish, I will do so. It also eats up so much of your time, so again it is good to draw the line and say, enough is enough. Your prayers and the prayers of all heart dwellers are going into a giant cloud of incense, which comes before my Father, a sweet, sweet smelling sacrifice, accompanied by your various offerings, aches and pains. I have arranged for you to spend more time on music by bringing items to you, rather than making them something you have to hunt for. I want you to tell all the heart dwellers that they are making a major impact in heaven. Even though you are so small, your hearts are pure. Many, many very pure hearts are part of this channel, and my father is moved to pity when he sees a pure heart praying fervently for change. You have taught them well. Purity is one of their greatest attributes. And of course love, brotherly love, especially the love that sacrifices for me and for the victims of Satan. I want you all to know that there are many rewards for those of you who have shouldered this cross. I know you did not take it on to receive a reward. Nonetheless, there are rewards for this kind of faithfulness. And my grief-stricken heart is so comforted when I see some of you take these poor children into your arms and pray for them. Oh, my very dear ones, you have no idea how you have ministered to me. Continue in this holy practice and you will grow deeper and deeper. I want to tell you also your president is growing by leaps and bounds. He truly is coming to know me and to cleave to my wisdom above his own. You see, for many years he has been aware of my activity in the world, but did not have an understanding of who I am. Much of that now is in the past as he sees me in action in his life, protecting him, leading him, making him aware of those things that no one knows, but are important to him to make connections. Yes, he is indeed a brilliant man, but still there is much out of his realm of understanding. That is beginning to change as he acts on what he knows is right. 
I continue to protect, guide and enlighten him. It's been quite a journey for him. Glory, glory, glory to God Almighty, He who shines the light in dark places and renders your enemies powerless. All glory to Him. My dear ones, take care during this time to make it special for those around you when you are all together. If you are fasting, please keep it to yourself. Your offerings are important to me. And just as this season of the year comes only once a year, what you are doing in shaping your government is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to turn Satan back on himself and unleash the powers of heaven to set the captives free and right the wrongs against society and those you have never met but nonetheless have compassion for. Then I was pointed to this video that came in through an email and listened for a brief moment. It talked about the army Obama had pulled together from foreign troops all over the world, on our soil. As I read about these things and I watched the video, I waited on the Lord afterwards to see what He would say. Jesus began again. Yes, these things have been going on under the American nose. UN troop bodies are all over this country and it is another clear and present danger. But your president has acted aggressively to bring the infrastructure down by targeting the leaders and funding they surreptitiously removed from legitimate government departments, as well as drug and sex trafficking. This will not happen if you continue to pray. This will be checked, but it has been set and ready to unleash at the right moment. Claire, do you know what the right moment is? No, Lord. When there is chaos and nothing stopping them, chaos has been checked again and again in response to your prayers. Not only that, but the right moment is when there is nothing obstructing them from moving forward. Because of all your prayers, there has not been such a moment. Neither will there be such a moment before the rapture. Because I am God and there is none other. And the greatest military force in the world is on American soil. And it's not armed with guns and bullets. It's armed with a heart for life and goodness and loyalty to me and it's on their knees praying Christians. Fasting, praying, sacrificing Christians are a far more formidable force than all of Obama's foreign troops, guillotines, UN tanks, trucks and vehicles. That is why this cannot happen as long as you stay vigilant and pray. I would thwart it. Keep praying, my faithful ones. Keep praying. Threatening mountains are being moved out of the way so this nation can survive and institute the principles I have longed to put in place. Keep praying. It's working. There is no force on earth equal to your prayers. None. Not even one.